You guys did it. I said I wanted a riddle and you sent me a riddle. And from the looks of it, it's very difficult. It's this. And uh, to solve it, well, we're gonna have to be smart. The good news is we don't have to solve this on paper. I think I have enough stuff in this house to make an actual working prototype. Let's solve a riddle. So this is the setup. Table that spins. There is four identical coins inside four cases. We don't have cases, so we're gonna cover it with cups. And in the middle, a light bulb. Now, the coins are either heads or tails, okay? And you don't know which one's which. You do know the light bulb will turn on once the coins are all facing the same way. So if they're all heads, the light will go on. If they're all tails, the light will go on. So the logic puzzle works like this. The coins start by being covered, and you have five rounds to get them all facing the same way. Not by guessing, not by chance, through some sort of procedure that will guarantee that they're all facing the same direction. You can look at two coins each round. So we can lift up whatever cups we want and check out what the coins are and I can flip them over however I like. I can flip them both to be heads up, both tails up. I can flip one heads up, one tails up, whatever I want. But after that round's done and I replace the cups, now I have to look away and the table gets spun. Round two, repeat the process. I can pick up any two cups and flip things around, but everything's identical. So you don't know if you're actually picking up the same two cups that you already had before and you're flipping over the same two coins. What procedure could you possibly do so that after the end of five rounds, you guarantee all the coins are facing the same way? What procedure could you possibly do? I actually don't know the answer to this. This was sent to me by one of you guys and I'm gonna attempt it in real time right here for you guys. It seems so bizarre, like it seems like how would it be possible? But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my best. And like I said before, I'm gonna attempt to solve this without actually knowing how it works. So this is me trying to figure it out in real time, same as you guys. Don't worry, I'll edit out all the garbage so it won't be boring, but I just really wanna try this and see can I do it, you know what I mean? So, here we go. Uh, I've already given it a spin, I have no idea, let me try. Round one, I have a feeling that if I do, I'll do these two. Okay, we have one heads up, one tails up. I'm gonna put them both to tails. Okay, that's round one. So I went with ones that are next to each other, okay? And my theory is, if I spin this, next time instead of going this one and one to the left, I'll go this one and one to the right. But if it, oh, but I, I could still end up with the, it could end up in this position. So I could be lifting the same ones again. Okay, I'm gonna go across. That's for sure different if I go across. Okay, so, I flip these two. That's round one. I'm gonna close my eyes, spin this thing, obstruct your view. I don't want you to know either. Okay, all right. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna do an across one. I'm gonna look at these. I have tails and tails. So I set the other one to tails. And these are both tails, so I'm just gonna leave that. So now they're tails. Okay, that seems legit. If they weren't, I would flip them to tails so that I'm just keep on the tails train. So even if they were other ways, even if it was like both heads right now or heads and tails, I'd put them both tails for sure. Okay, so I did it aside, I did it across. So I guaranteed no matter how I've done this, I have three for sure that are tails. And that's only round two, okay? So let's go round three. Screw of you, blah, blah, blah. I'm not looking either, da, 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 da. Okay, I'll do more, just more, whatever. Okay, so. Um, I'm gonna go side by side again. A tails and a head. Well, this one, for sure, if I flip this one tails, they're all four tails now. Because I've definitely seen them all now. And that was only three steps, so this light, they're for sure all tails. Yeah, they are all tails. Okay, but why did that work? That's only three steps, that's easy. How do we guarantee, this was just chance, it just worked out well for me. How do I guarantee that it's not just chance? Like that just worked out well. I mean, I was smart to go across. So side, across, side. But it could have landed, I mean this one was, the, the spin could have landed like this and I would have seen both tails again. And this one would still be heads. Okay, let's pretend that happened. Let's pretend that happened. Let's pretend I spun it around, I open this, and I see both tails again. This is round three, I see both tails again. 
If that happened, I would be smart to flip them over again. To heads. Yes, okay, I'm doing that. Okay, I, all right, now I close my eyes. Let's see if these are gonna spin. Close my eyes, obstruct the view. Close my eyes, don't look, don't knock the cups off, okay. All right, so we look again, and I'm gonna go across again. I see heads and heads. This is round four. Heads and heads. Guaranteed, one of these could be mystery, and one of them is definitely the one I already affected. This is round four, right? So now I'm gonna flip these back over to the tails because I feel like as long as I keep them the same but I keep changing them, I'll know, I'll know that I'm, which ones I flipped. So, I, so now I'm on the last one, so this one has to work. So if I keep spinning it, right? There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna go side again. If I go side, it feels like that's the only difference going across and going side. It feels like the only way to differentiate anything. Pick these up, I got a heads and a tails. I flip the last heads to tails, so I'm gonna keep these ones with tails. So that's my last round, that's five rounds. And now I'm on tails. So, are they all tails? Holy shit! Oh! So that works, I did it right. I did it right, that's how you do it. That is how you do it. Okay, now can I explain this? I don't know. <laughs> I think, I mean, I know how I did it. Oh, this hurts my brain so much. Uh, I don't know if demoing this is the right way to do it. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this without actually doing it. Let's hash it out a different way here. So round one and round two make perfect sense to me. In round one, you just do uh, you know, two cups that are next to each other, make the coins the same. So let's say we make them both heads, okay? Then you spin, round two, we go diagonal so we can uh, affect the most amount of coins. So we open them up and whatever they are, let's put them on heads. So now we know we got three on heads. We got two side by side and one diagonal. So, uh, I mean, at this point, if the light went on, the game would be over if the other one was heads, right? Yeah. If the light doesn't go on, then that means it's tails. It means we have three heads and one tails. We know that. So on round three, we spin. And if we open up and we see a tails, we turn that to heads and we win. We know that. So I'm saying we're going to go open side by side again this time. On round three, we open side by side. And if we see two heads, I mean, if we see a head and a tails, that's lucky. We're gonna win on round three, which is done. If we see two heads, then we flip over one of the heads to tails. Yes, we flip over one of the heads to tails. So now we know that we have two heads and two tails guaranteed. We know that by flipping over one of the heads in the third round to tails, that means we know now we have two and two. Again, we don't know where, but we know we have two and two. So on the fourth round, if we spin and we see two heads, we'll flip them to tails. We see two tails, we'll flip them to heads, and that will make the light go on, for sure. That's, but that's getting lucky. We have two heads and two tails at the end of round three, we know that. So on spin four, but if we see a tails and a heads, we have to, we have to flip over one of each. Yeah, okay, so we open up on, on spin four, we open up and we see a tails and a heads. We flip the tails to heads and the heads to tails. Because if we do that, now we know that the coins have to be diagonally from each other. They can't be next to each other now. We've just moved them. We knew they were next to each other. We knew they were next to each other, we just didn't know where, but now that we flipped it, now we know they're across from each other. So on spin five, 100% guarantee, if we go diagonal, we either see two tails, in which case we turn them to heads, or we see two heads, in which case we turn those to tails. Woo! That's how you do that. That, that. Oh. Smart. That's crazy. I love that. That is really something. 
Oh, my brain hurts. I'm literally sweating now. That's really... Okay. Yeah, that's what I was missing before. I was just getting lucky before. Man, okay. Huh. Now we know. Oh, come here. Give, give me a hug, camera. Hope you guys are enjoying the riddles and logic puzzles. I am. I mean, I hate them, but I love them. It gives us something to do, you know? It really gets the brain going. I think it's good for us. Uh, yeah, that was a fun one. I'm sweating, <laughs> sweating it out here. Uh, I'm gonna look up a couple more. I think I might keep doing these uh, every now and then because they're fun and I'm gonna do them anyways just to uh, keep myself sharp. So hopefully you guys are enjoying them. And uh, yes, hey, if you got some really tricky ones, put them in the comments. I, I'm, I'm in, I'm open. This is where this one came from. So uh, hit me up. Thanks for coming out team and I'll see you soon. Uh, yeah, like at least three or four videos a week right now. Why not? Why not? Just make some videos. Tell your friends. Bring a thousand of your closest friends to this channel. Really appreciate that. Oh, all right, sweating it out now. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you guys. This is fun. You having fun? I'm having fun. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Please go. Give it to me. Give it to me worse.